Hello, heavier bowgun tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Monster Hunter World with me, Blue Ankylo. Last episode, we tried a genius arena quest to show off uh, the light bowgun, where I did an amazing job. Uh, don't even watch that video, just trust me that I did an amazing job. And we killed him in like two minutes, and everyone was pretty impressed. Uh, today, we're going to try another high rank arena. We're going to go with uh, the Baroth, uh, which is a another enemy we haven't seen on the channel yet. And this time we're going to use the actually heavy bowgun, uh, which I just mix up the uh, icons for all the time, so that's fun. Uh, so this bowgun and armor set, you can look around a little bit. Uh, we've got, let's see, what's important? we got normal 3, spread 3, piercing 2, we got flame ammo, we got wyvern ammo, train ammo. I guess we're not going to be doing a lot of, oh no, there's some status, there's poison paralysis and sleep ammo. So yeah, there's lots of those things, and then we get a set of uh, preset items, and preset, you know, that's it. Anyway, you know, it is what it is, right? Uh, what was I going to check? What's my total defense? Doesn't say. It's a mystery. Oh well. Let's do it. We're going we're to try out another arena. This is probably going to be the second and last arena quest, unless this goes so much better than the previous episode. Uh, so we're going to start with a max potion this time, and a stake. So we're going to walk into the arena properly equipped. We've got a paralysis knife and a sleep knife again. They do kind of randomize. You don't always get the same stuff. Uh, we've got a health booster instead of a uh, vitality mantle. And... Let's see. I guess I've got different types of ammo to show off. Upgraded poison ammo this time around. So we can start off by poisoning them. I believe the recommended strat is you start with poison one, get a poison, and then you switch to poison two for your second application of poison is, is I believe, the way you're supposed to do it. So we'll try that, and then we'll go for uh, maybe a sleep. Yeah. So we'll equip the sleep knife, and we'll see how this works. So everyone say hello to Baroth. He's, um... He's kind of fun. I totally whiffed. These have a very slow shot. Wow. So, um, yeah, the heavy bowgun is heavier. And I would expect more time will be spent reloading. Okay, we've got him poisoned. That's a great start. Now we're going to try to put him to sleep. Alright. Go to sleep. So now we've got a little bit of time. It's no rush. We're going to... Actually, I'm just going to throw this knife away so it's out of my inventory. And I'm going to... I don't know. Probably the Wyvern ammo would do the most damage, I think. Uh, and the Heavy Bowgun has this fancy... I don't even know how to do all this stuff. But we're going to go into, like, sniper mode. And then we're going to just do maximum damage. I mean, I don't know how much damage. I didn't even see it. But we did some damage. <laughs> That's as good as I can do. Wyvern ammo is supposed to be... Actually, I don't even know if I used Wyvern ammo. No, Wyvern ammo is like a flamethrower. Yeah, it's like point blank. Maybe we won't worry about Wyvern ammo right now. But we did do a very cool, you have to admit, uh, sniper shot from point blank. There we go. We did some one damage. Two damage. And smacked. Alright, so flaming ammo. Oh, that's right. Bareth, while he's covered in mud, doesn't take very much fire damage. Once we knock the mud off, that will be a lot better. I guess we get him poisoned again. It's like a poison shotgun, and it takes a year to reload. That's. I feel like maybe that's the biggest problem with me, with all these new bow guns, is... Um, well, I got stunned, so I couldn't move. That was the other fun part. But, uh, like, I don't know how long it's going to take to reload for any given ammo type the first time I use it. Now, the good news is Bareth, compared to uh, the fight that never happened last episode, uh, Dodongo, this guy is a little bit more predictable and doesn't do any ranged attacks. So it should be... Oh, this one! That's right! We got cluster bombs! Let's see if I can do it. Nope. <laughs> Well, I think it technically hit him. <laughs> Cluster bombs are really cool. Oh, you can shoot two stickies in a row. That's nice. 
relatively okay reload. I don't really know what you're supposed to use sticky bombs for. I assume if you shoot them onto like one of the flying wyverns and then they try to fly away, you might be able to get a mid-air uh, flinch because they took damage while they're flying. But against Barath, I don't know what they're for. They do a little bit of damage, but that's a lot of messing around for... There we go. That, that worked pretty well. I meant to do that, I just... I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Alright, let's switch to Paralyze. And let's see if we can get a Wyvern Blast right on his face once he's paralyzed. There we go. Wyvern ammo. Alright, reloading. Of course I should have reloaded first. Come on, quick, quick. There we go. That did like a couple hundred damage. Maybe I can get another one? No. Well, actually maybe could have. It's just, it takes forever. The fact that I got that off twice, I'm pretty proud about. Alright, good. So Wyvern ammo, pretty fun. Cluster bombs, also very fun. Uh, but... It takes a while to launch. Oh, this would be like the perfect time. While he's doing his little shake. Yeah, I think he might need to get him to land right on his back or something to do maximum. Alright, uh, we still got a fair bit of poison ammo. He's been poisoned twice, though. So I would expect the next attempt will take a while. I also, I don't know how I got not hit there. So let's burn through all of our poison one ammo. See if we can get poison effect number three. Uh, reload one more time. Come on. Alright, did he, he got poisoned again? So that's three poisons. This guy is super weak to poison. I feel bad for him. Right, let's try some spread ammo, okay? Spread ammo is your shotgun. And that was a little bit too far away. Also, it seems to have a huge recoil and only one shot. And you get stunned for five hours while you reload. Okay. I'm not using spread correctly. Okay, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Maybe we should uh, heal up a little bit. This has been going definitely better than the light bow gun, though. I think I like the heavy bow gun more just in principle. So we've got spread, uh, pierce ammo. What do you think? This is your more long range. Pierce tends to have the most range, I believe. Of course. Where did he get all his mud from? We're in the middle of a dry arena here. Normally this guy likes to hang out uh, in like a swamp where there's lots of uh, mud pits for him to play around in. So Pierce, I'm not super impressed with. I think I'm not using it correctly. It's supposed to be more of a rapid fire sort of thing. And I'm doing it kind of slow. Again, it, it depends on like what weapon, like what version of the the bow gun you're, you're equipped with. And I'm, it's actually too close. I ran into a, a pit of <laughs> some mud. That's good. So Pierce might not work great when you're like 1v1 because he always like runs up to you so I can't get max damage because he's too close. Let's try some normal ammo here. See if we got anything useful. Oh, it's just one shot. Big reload. Not that impressive damage, I gotta say. Well, if you hit a weak point, more damage than other... Like, his his face, his, he's got a fancy ridge on his head. That definitely uh, resists damage more than... Uh, ooh, okay, that was way too slow. Come on, heavy bowgun. Now, there is a way, uh, depending on the mod, to put a shield on your heavy bowgun, and then you could, like, block some of those charges. That would be really awesome. Of course, I was not reloaded. Why would I ever be reloaded in time? Dang. No luck on the roll. 
At some point, I, I should try the fire again. Oh, come on. Ah, not even close. <laughs> well, fairly close, but still got sent flying. Alright, alright. Change of plans. Normal, not the kind of ammo I'm impressed with. Alright, so what else have we got I could use? Um, still got these two paralysis knives. They're not going to do anything. Just get rid of them out of my inventory. Now we got a couple flash pods. Uh, maybe... Quick! Go, 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 go! Fire! Yeah! At least it hit. At least it hit. So I don't think I've missed a wyvern ammo yet, which is pretty impressive because you only get five and they're really slow to charge. Let's uh, do it! Alright, we still hit him. Alright, what else should we do? Uh, we've got spread. I haven't used spread very much. It seems to be... Oh, bad, bad timing. I thought I was ready to fire. Right, it's the one shot. Okay, I gotta not hit him in the face because that's his strongest point. <laughs> not get killed. I think, essentially, if you're doing 1v1, you really can't be using any ammo that takes like five seconds to reload because it's just this is dumb <laughs> okay that was still not very impressive damage oh bad timing again at least he didn't hit me very hard except I'm stunned all right goodbye everybody wow well I would say that the beginning of the Baroth fight went quite well and then the second half <laughs> has been quite terrible Back when we were, like, poisoning them and stuff, we were doing fine. I guess I got six more poison shots. It's possible we could get one more, one more poison attempt on them. I don't know if we've got enough, like, infliction to work here, but just don't miss. That's two. They also kind of recover over time, so you've got to hit them, like, quick in su succession. So, like, if you hit them with one poison and then you wait too long... Um, he'll just recover and he won't actually get the infliction. It looks like six was still not enough, unfortunately. Oh, look at all that amazing fire damage. I know he is technically weak to fire, but only after the mud gets knocked off, and we're not doing a very good job of knocking mud off. Well, what can we, f what can we do here? I'd like to see Spread Ammo do something. That did not do very much. It opens me up for a huge counter. How does he still have any mud left? How long have we been in this arena? Is this another one of these half an hour never kill monster hunts? Yeah, look at that. It did like three damage. I was point blank, and it still barely did damage. Spread three seems to be the dumbest. At least that did two damage. <laughs> Here I am saying heavy bowgun does way more than uh, than uh, light bowgun, and I'm doing like tiny amounts of damage. The spread, or sorry, the pierce, actually because it fires faster, I think this should be our regular go-to for for dealing some damage here. And we can reload it on the move. Wow, it's not so good if you miss. All right. I'm, you know what? I'm probably missing some key mechanic of, of Heavy Bowgun, and that's why this is taking so long. It just moves just enough that I miss. Now, on the... On the downside, we've only got 28 more pierce shots anyway. So even if this is pretty awesome, it's not going to last for very long. Alright, here we go. Good shot. Finally at the right range to dish out some hits. And it still didn't seem that impressive. <laughs> Ah, 
I guess I'm just used to seeing long long swords where you're doing like 50s, 100s damage all the time. And then I switch over to these heavy bow guns, light bow guns, and we're, we're lucky to do like 8s. <laughs> I know sometimes I'm not in critical range, so I'm not doing max damage, but even when I am in critical range or perfect range, it's still doing ones, so I don't know. We've only got four more shots. Might as well use them. It's kind of thing it'd be awesome if I could cut his tail off at least, but all right. Well, that's the end of that ammo. I wonder if you could go through all your ammo and not kill him. <laughs> Is it just game over? You just lose? Alright, so the flame ammo might be dealing some reasonable damage. <laughs> Would you please let me move, sir? Just get stun locked for half an hour. That's that's probably the worst thing about Monster Hunter, is uh, once you just start getting comboed. And then you, just, you can't ever seem to move. Flaming ammo, pretty slow to reload. <laughs> Gotta pay attention to the uh, remaining ammo. At least we're doing like 20 damage around if I hit him, right? Like, But like these monsters tend to have thousands of HP. You know, doing two damage just doesn't matter much. Welcome to the series of Blue tries to show off a new weapon and it's just terrible with it. I mean, what else could I be doing? Should I be trying my sniper move? I mean, it takes so long to set up. I feel like I would just get crushed every time I, I switch to it. That was, a, that was a very well-timed evasion. <laughs> it just, it doesn't feel like we're making any progress here. At least the light bulb gun, we had our minds that could do some damage. Instead, we're... It's like we're shooting them with blanks, guys. It's supposed to be weak to fire. And, like, to be fair, I miss some shots, but I don't think I'm missing the majority of my shots. Oh, well, it's a good showcase. This gives you an idea if you would like to use the heavy bow gun. Does this look fun? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a shame. I've got one shot left with heavy bow, with, with flaming ammo. I couldn't imagine that they'd give you so little ammo that you couldn't actually kill them, though. They might not give you enough potions. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that was just my bad. So we're out of that ammo. That did not, that did not impress me much. All we've got is normal and spread. Wow. And spread seemed like pretty terrible when I used it the last couple of times. Let's see if we can do some damage. Alright, that did maybe 50 damage from literally underneath him. The most... <laughs> leaves you the most open for punishment takes forever to reload, you get one shot, you have to be underneath the monster, and it did like maybe 50 damage. That's... that's not very good. I don't know what you're supposed to, what else you can do with spread. That was like fives times ten, so... We'll try one more shot, and then this is like it. I'm never using this again. Yeah, I don't know what else you can do. It's just not good enough. Alright, well, now we're down to just boring ammo. Sort of medium range. How many shots? Three shots? That's not good either, really. 
for the amount of damage this 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 bullet does. Well, we got a 38 hit on his on his arm at least, I guess. Can't move while you reload, unfortunately. Pretty sure I was out of range of the tail, so I'm safe. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's a good experiment. I, uh, I thought it'd be worth a while to try off a couple arena episodes for the channel. I have to say, I'm kind of not impressed. At least not with, with the bowgun uh, showcase. He's given me a lot of time to shoot him. But I have to hit his arms, basically, I think. And they're pretty small. Got tiny T-Rex arms to do max damage, and it still doesn't do very much damage. Uh-oh, now he's mad. Well, should I try, like, normal ammo? I've only got norm- Wow, I've only- Well, I guess you got- You get infinite normal one, so yeah, there we go. Oh man, look at the damage. Four, four, reload. We did like, well, so have I wasted all my ammo? Because I, I didn't think I would have enough time to set up one of those shots. And then I was able to set up one of those shots. So maybe the problem is that I just wasted all my good ammo not doing the sniper mode. I just thought, Sniper mode versus a monster that charges you every five seconds would be a really bad idea. Should pick that up, I suppose. We, we were doing some slinger, slinger thorns back on uh, Dodorongo or Dod Dude Man. Alright, so we need him to do commit to something that gives us a lot of time. To, uh, to get our shot ready. Like the, the mud shake or something. I see he's got something hanging off of his uh, ridge. I don't know what that's supposed to be. So is this enough time? Not even close. See, that was my worry, is getting that set up. We're, what? We're not even reloaded? What? I just reloaded! I don't understand how the uh, the sniper mode works. Is this like a, a separate ammo? I thought it used the ammo you had in your gun, because it's it's the weapon that you've got equipped. I see there is a blue bar there. I got a shot off, and then I got crushed. It certainly does a lot of damage. Like, I, I can't argue with that. It just seems really unsafe. So do I have to wait till the blue bar fills up before I do that? Is that... I guess that's what I was missing. Yeah, I guess that's it. You have to wait. It's just a uh, auto-refilling sort of weird ammo. 100 damage if you get perfect accuracy. And uh, then you've got a very painful... Uh, Reload to, to, to get out of it. Alright, well. It's fine. I'm sure he'll die eventually. I just get a lot of practice. I'll be way better at Heavy Bullgun by the time he's dead. kind of interesting. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say anymore. <laughs> I was I was really quite excited to show off Light Bowgun and Heavy Bowgun before I started recording these two episodes. Now I'm like, why would I ever use this weapon? This is not, this is not fun. Like, huh. Maybe someone who's more proficient with heavy bullgun will reply in the comments telling me what I missed. If 
there's something important that I was doing or missing or something. Alright, so there's a special ammo. It does look like his, uh, his, his shake attack, his shake it off attack, is probably the best option for getting those big... Whatever your super is, basically. Unfortunately, it looks like you can only use it like once every minute. <laughs> 12 damage. Reload. Get hit. Well, we're out of potions again, so... I guess I should save my flash pods for, um... Oh, you know, Technic... I totally forgot. They actually gave us a couple traps. Alright, so we're gonna go... Throw him in a pitfall. I forgot I could have used these. These would have helped out a little bit. All we gotta do is get him to walk into the trap. And then just shoot him for one damage. Pretty impressive. Hey, he's dead. That's good. <laughs> if I'd used the traps earlier, I could have used them with uh, the wyvern fire or something. I suppose I could have done a couple traps into the, uh, the sniper shot. Um... It's just, you know, you gotta wait for it to finish charging up. Which is weird, because you don't do anything, it just... I guess I guess maybe it's like a, a heat meter or something? It's like your gun overheated, so you can't fire it for another minute till it finally cools off? I, I don't know. Anyway, there's some heavy bowgun. That took even longer than the light bowgun. Um, yeah, I, I think both of them are probably pretty fun weapons if you're not solo. But if you're solo, I think light bowgun and heavy bowgun might be terrible, actually. Um, at least if you've got your cats around to distract the enemies a bit, maybe that'll work. But, like, those, the last two episodes, I feel like have been a tremendous waste of time. <laughs> So I'm sorry about that. Thank you for watching. Uh, I probably will never do that again, though, on camera. Unless I've got, like, a group of four people. And then I can try to show off the bow guns a little bit better in a group scenario. Uh, solo mode, maybe just stick with either the... If you want to use range, use the bow, because it's got a lot more mobility while you hop around. You saw the, the basil juice fight. Or just a melee weapon that you don't have to worry so much about. <laughs> just every time you reload, you get killed. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.